1.6 is out. Finally. I am really happy about this. And you might be looking at the sign above me and you're like, wait, I've never seen that before. Well, there's a new extension, three new stations. Willowfield, Hampton Park, and Beachley. It's kind of, you, it will always get like hashtags if you go on Roblox, but I'll be ranking every station and I'll be talking what's new on the 1.6 update. So this is also going to be my honest opinion, but for Willowfield, I kind of like this small design. It's like a small little nice town and like... I'm in a VIP, VIP server, that's why there's, like, nothing on. And I like the new sign design. Um, RIP, old connect. Uh, there's a new one here. And, um, I also remember there's a new map, and the, if you guys know, but in 1.5, there's, like, this map glitch, which you can't open your map for some reason, but I really like this map, and it looks a lot better in design. So, you can see, look at my mouse, I look about right over here. Like, up in this this corner. And, uh, if you look here, it's like, Welcome to the beautiful town of Willowfield. And I kind of find that's really nice. And I don't know why, but I kind of feel like this is a real station because of these clocks. I'm really up in the morning, sorry about that. And here's one of my favorite ones. Ikea. Oh. Uh. Anyways, I was saying that there's a Ikea. Uh, they're not going to use Ikea because they don't want to get, like, taken down, but... I really like the idea of using IKEA and using a little bit of a joke. But my favorite part of this entire station, let's see if I can even get up to this point. But um I hope you could, guys could see this, but I'll try to zoom up to it. I'm just just please wait, guys. But this is going to be my favorite part. If you just come down here and uh, here's my favorite bit. I think you guys could see that. I oh, know you can't. Let me just move up a bit. Here is my favorite part. There is a Uber Yeet. Like, come on, who likes the word Yeet? It's like your favorite meme. Like, come on. Welcome to Hendon Park. This is the second station down the line. And. You guys actually could tell me how would you rank it in my comment se section. And anyway, here's a little nice waiting room, which I kind of like. Wait. They have a football team? Wait, I need to go check that out. Wait. Beachley Royal up how, uh, up Holsty House. Right Hampton Park. Which one are you? Guy. Um, Charlie, can you... Please make up your mind, or is it like usual companies? Oh. It's not designed at all. At least we know where they play now. I bet there's going to be a rivalry between Stepford UFC and uh, Hemden Park Raiders. Or, Oh my god, I already forgot the name. Oh god. Hemden Park Rangers, I think. Park Rangers? Hemden Park Rangers? Yeah, I'm right. Alright. Anyway, uh... This is a little, little nice, sweet station. It looks like your regular village station. Again, Hemden Park, like the new liveries. I just realized this, but transport for London. Looks nice. I mean, not London, oh my god. Stepford, I've been in London so many times. How, how come I'm always rem rem memorizing this? Um, it's a little bit steep, but... I like the little scenery around here. It looks like a small village. I think I already said that, but this roof is like a nice design. Yeah, I I actually never seen this in this game until now, but I kind of rate this like about a nine out of ten. The downfall is that there's not enough scenery, or should I move it up to a ten? You guys tell me. Our uh, next one we're going to go to Beachley, which is actually another tournament station for some routes. Welcome to Beachley. So, you might be asking, it just looks like a normal standard station. If you probably just look out on the outside, it doesn't look, really look like a terminal station. But, the inside doesn't look really detailed, that's going to be a really big downfall. Uh, this is really steep. These are actually the two terminus platforms. You can see the buffers over there. If you could. Oh, not again. Sorry about that. So, I actually think this was not supposed to be meant a uh, 
terminus station, because look, there's like a little patch of emptiness right there. It could be used for another well, depot or sliding. I'm just saying, but I just feel like this will connect up to this, and then this will go like canon and connect to the other track. But you guys tell me what you what you like to what you want. But you do your guesses. You do you. But uh, that's probably a cool. That's probably going to be a connection bit. But I bet they were just going to stick with these buffers instead. I kind of like the station. It's just really good. It's outside of Stepford. Uh, I know that station is, I know that building with the tiny peak, like, nope, in that place over there. It looks like a, uh, London building, because I know it looks like that, but I don't remember the name. Sorry about that. I hope you guys don't get triggered about that. Um, and this is actually a good station, but I would probably rank this a 8, and it's re with really good scenery, and... It would probably be a good place to do train spotting. I uh, will probably do a train spotting video soon, but this area might be a cool place to do train spotting. I'm just saying. Any advice if any people want to do that out there? All right, let's. That's it for stations, and our next one is going to be train livery. Right, so, Connect and Waterline got brand new liveries. I think that's it. And this is the new Connect delivery. It actually looks pretty nice. Is I I I gotta admit, but it looks quite better than the old one. Sorry for slow graphics. The Wi-Fi I live in is really bad. Please ignore it. And I actually heard that the 720 got a new look inside the cat uh, train cab. So let's take a look. Holy! Oh my God! This is actually really good. I I'll probably use to rank this like a seven. Before this update, oh my god, it just looks like we're floating in the air. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, but I'll probably now rank this like a 9 or a 10. I don't know. It actually just looks so well made. Just please ignore the same scenery for now. And Waterland also got a brand new livery, and it looks actually looks pretty nice too. This is just stuff for Connect. And let's move on to Waterline, and let's go to, well, alright, so, this is the brand new livery for Waterline, and the Muggle, well, no, not Muggle, Morgantown branch is here, yay, well, no, not Morgantown branch, oh my god, that's been, Morgantown branch has been here for about a month, or even a year, and, and, the Waterline, Morgantown Town's shuttle is here, and it goes to Benton. I thought we would it would terminate at Port Benton, but anyway, it will only allow two car trains, so be aware of that. So when you're going to do the waterline, please purchase a two car so you can actually do the um Markstown shuttle. I'm keep on forgetting the names. Why am I keep on doing that? And the inside looks pretty nice and. It actually looks better. The this livery actually looks a lot better than the old one, and I'm really happy this shuttle is finally here. We've been waiting for for months. Bravo! I'm actually gonna. I drove this a few times, but I did this drive about a few times. But I'll probably rank this drive a nine. The only thing that is the downfall is this is this bridge. Is because it will touch the sides. I did that one drive and I noticed that, so it's a little bit annoying for me. This is the new Benton. Not Benton, oh my god. Waterline liveries. Okay, so you might see on your bottom of the video, you will see that it says station upgrades. And that's right. Step of Victoria and Coxley got station upgrades. So it looks brand new. If you probably could see from my intros and outros for some of my videos, it looked absolutely disgusting for my opinions. It had like nothing in my opinion. And like, there's like nothing in here, but I kind of like this new brand design. Like, it's kind of cool that like all these pillars are holding it up. I actually really like that. And you have a giant marble. I just really like the design. And hey, they actually have um, ticket barriers. I remember on the old one, they didn't have one, so that's actually really nice and a good add-on design. 
We still got boards, as usual. That, the the old Stepper Victor also had that, but it was just that on a blank brick wall. The only things that were interesting was the platforms and the boards. But now there's a brand new inside. Now they hang from a roof or by two poles instead of just sitting on the well barrier walls. And a brand new inside, which I actually like. It's actually really well designed. This is probably one of the best station upgrades I've actually seen. Let's don't forget about Coxley, though. So, there's a cool thing about Coxley, and it actually remade its depot, and then they added another one. And the outside looks even better. Just look at that! It looks amazing! Oh yeah, and I also like this detail saying, Welcome to Stepford Victoria, transport for Stepford. I also, they do the same thing for, um, Stepford Central, which is somewhere over there behind the, behind those buildings somewhere. This is Coxley. Yes, Coxley, the station. I actually really like this new station design, because I actually remember the old one just had, like, a building on top of the station, and they just had five sloppy platforms. And, um, it actually looks a lot, a lot better. They actually did the inside better. Oh, yeah, rest in peace, Waterline, by the way. And, oh, yeah, I forgot to add that High Street also got an upgrade, finally. They just they just put, like, a pile, a entrance, a ramp, and that was basically it with an S marker with some signals. And I actually like they actually added some more detail into it. Two tracks for Express, because they always pass through. They don't stop here, sadly. And the depot is over there. And if you can see that, see that train over there, or Class 68, also over there. High Street. Yes, this is their upgrade. And it's actually really nice now, because it actually has a lot more design into it now. They have choice words, finally. They only had, like, a ramp, and that was an entrance and a platform, S marker, and a board to show what it's going, like, Whitefield or UFC or, well, basically. And you can also dispatch here. You you can dispatch here as well. You can see by the off signal over there. It will actually be really nice to do some train spotting. Express trains whizzing by, same as Connect. But... Hope you guys really enjoyed this video and please explore the rest of Stepford County Railway. Thanks for joining on this update. And please join my live streams when they're coming. There's more coming soon. I hope there will be more, but thank you for enjoying this review of mine on Stepford County Railway.